Nations send help to Cyprus as it tackles a huge wildfire its president describes as the worst in decades. At least four people have been killed in a wildfire in Cyprus. The blaze has been spreading through an area north of the cities of Limassol and Larnaca and has forced the evacuation of several villages. A 67-year-old farmer has been remanded in custody for eight days on suspicion of starting the blaze, which he denies. Sadaba Haidari reports. Flames raging out of control in the southern coast of Cyprus. Wildfires broke out in Lemisol district around 2 o'clock in the afternoon local time and raced through the village, swiftly jumping district boundaries into Larnaca. Visiting an effort coordination center, the Cypriot president said it was the worst tragedy that his country had seen in decades. The services responded immediately. They did everything possible in order to prevent deaths. Unfortunately, this was not avoided, as we now know that a deadly incident has been reported. The fires ravaged homes and cars and destroyed a large forested area. It also forced the evacuation of several nearby villages. Civil defence volunteers found four burnt bodies in a mountain area in the outskirts of Odu village. According to information, it seems the bodies belong to the four Egyptians that we were searching for since yesterday afternoon, as various rescue teams attempted numerous efforts. The scene has been secured. Coroners are rushing on site for an autopsy. Helicopters tried to douse the wildfire fanned by strong winds and high temperatures. Cyprus has been experiencing a week-long heat wave and temperatures rising to 40 degrees Celsius, posing a challenge for firefighters trying to tackle the blaze. Planes assisted by British troops and equipment stationed on the Mediterranean island are fighting the flames, but Cyprus has called for more help. Israel has come to the rescue and EU neighbours are sending more planes to help put out the fires. Sadaba Haideri, BBC News.